guys, it's uh, H here from Zantini Menswear. Uh, just want to welcome you today. Um, today's video is a, a special one. I have uh, a good friend of mine, Prosamina, who's an image consultant. Uh, good day, Prosamina. Um, today's video yeah, is about uh, what sort of wardrobe you should have uh, when you're starting your first job. Uh, we get a lot of frustrated young guys coming in here, what colours to wear, what what outfits we should, should we have? So Cosmina and I are going to help you out here and uh, and uh, try and put you in the right direction. Um, good day, Cosmina. Um, first of all, the first biggest question I get asked is uh, what kind of suit? Yeah, it's really important when you're starting off as a graduate to build a wardrobe that will all go together. Um, you've got enough expenses when you're starting off, That's so true. start off with the basic wardrobe and then eventually build up on it. My recommendation would be a plain suit, yep. a charcoal grey, okay. for example. Stick with the basic slim cut um, two button suit, and then we can add to that and build on that. Okay. Great thing with it as well is if you can get a suit with two pairs of trousers. Perfect, yes. Because that way you can wear trousers with it without the jacket, okay. and it'll last longer. And you're building up wood and you've got five days or four days a week that you need to create a look or an image that's important for you so we need to generally just build it up eventually and then add to it what color would you go for next um you could it, it depends how soon you're going to buy another suit a navy suit would be great or then if you're adventurous enough you could actually do a pinstripe suit okay um but just build on it gradually um, a charcoal suit will get you through summer and winter and Australian suits are fairly lightweight pure yes, wool okay. so it really doesn't matter it will get you through the winter period as long as you wear a scarf with it and so forth right. add, to, add to the accessories and it'll get you through brilliant um, what colour shirt should we go for? okay so I would start off with at least four or five shirts a minimum of four possibly five shirts the basics would be white you always have to have a pure white uh, shirt um, at least two whites Maybe uh, a blue, a classic blue suit. Yep. Now for sure. Maybe blue, yeah. So two whites, a blue, a pink shirt, um, just another neutral. Which would look shirt, nice with the grey. Which would look great with the um, with the grey. So you can do all all three really easy. Um, if you're going to do five shirts, then add a bit of um, variety. You might do a striped shirt. Especially if you don't want to wear a tie as well. Well, Fridays are usually like casual days. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. you know, you could actually wear the, the shirt with the suit or you could wear it with jeans and still give you that professional right. So, with one suit, you've got five outfits yeah. there. Yeah, so one? really, yeah, two, you've actually got more. You've got two pairs of trousers and five shirts. So, that's ten days. Yes. So, you've got two weeks worth of clothes there. There you go. So that's, that's um, and idea. to start off, that's a really good idea. Then, the way to add character to it is by adding um, different ties. Different colour ties. We all need the classic uh, red tie, authoritarian tie. That'll look great with that. Um, grab yourself a really good blue tie. Good. So you can always do a great blue tie. Um, and then add character. Purple. Purple looks great. You could add that to the actual striped shirt as well. Um, add it to a pink shirt. It's the ties that give you that personality, okay. that gives you that different look. So generally just build up on the, on the ties as you know, each and all. And maybe try to get one tie that matches many shirts, so it's yeah, so expensive right. as yeah. well. Okay. So if your palettes are on the, the pinks and the blues and your stripes are on the pinks and blues, then try and get ties that match that. If they're on the greens and the yellows, then match that. You know, you've done it with the yellows and the yeah, yeah. there, so try and match that colour. Try and that way, this one. <laughs> That way um, you can get the most wear out of it. When you're starting off um, work after uni, it's really tough to sort of get that look going. And you're competing with people that are a lot older than you, that have been in the industry for a lot longer, and there's an expectation of looking a professional way. So it's really important to build it up. Okay, well that's great about the shirts. Um, on the accessory side, shoes, belts, cufflinks, what, what do you recommend? Well, that's what shows your personality accessories and also shows style. So the first thing I would suggest is get yourself classic very black shoes. Um, if you can, get two pairs and wear them alternate days. They'll always last longer. That's They're a little free. They last longer. Obviously with black shoes, you would then wear black socks. So white socks is a matter. No, no white <laughs> socks. No socks with animal prints on them, anything like that. 
um, five pairs of socks we'll get you through the week, then wash them wash them regularly and you'll be fine. Again with that, get yourself a black belt. So um, it'll go with the charcoal suit and go with all your shirts and ties. So they're the basics. It's then important to add a bit of um, style to it. Okay. So gradually build up on accessories. And here he's got hundreds of cufflinks. Yeah, we've got one of the biggest cufflink ranges in the city. <laughs> so you could use um, cufflinks of all different colours and shapes and sizes. You know, get your classic ones first maybe, because some silver or gold or clear glass ones. And then start adding to them by using um, different colours and different shapes. Okay. For example, these got purple in them, they would go with white, they would go with the pink shirt, they would go with the, the striped shirt, they would go with all. It's really a matter of learning how to mix everything together. Would you so have the good. same colour tie and the same colour cuff ink? Um, That's something I get confused on. You can, you can. It, it would either have to be in the same tone. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the same tone. Um, I mean, for what you're wearing, for example, today, yeah. have you got public on? I have. I've got my H's on today. You've got H's on, right? He's got, <laughs> oh, okay. So he's gone for the basic silver. Yeah. So with what you're wearing, you could actually have anything with a bit of grey on it as well. Okay. It would okay. throw the, the grey okay. in the top. So it's a handy tip. And it would just add a little bit more warmth um, or class to it. Okay. Um, or you could go, you know, go yellow again. But it's 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 got got the other shirt on. The other shirt on. One last question. How often do you dry clean the suit? Um, considering you're wearing it every single day, yep. okay, you may not be wearing the jacket all day, but you're carrying it to and from work, you know, you've got it at the back of a chair in an office, your trousers, you've got two pairs, you should always get a suit with two pairs of trousers. Yep. I would at least dry clean it once a month okay. and dry clean everything all together. If you dry clean the trousers without the jacket or vice versa, the colours will actually um, fade and you see the difference. Okay. So um, dry clean it all together at least once a month. And then in between, on weekends, throw it back at your um, door in the bathroom. When you're having a shower? When having a shower, the steam will just get to it and just iron it out nicely that way. Get rid of all the smells, air it out, and you'll be fine. Thank you, Cosmina, for all those little handy tips. Thank you for having me. Um, I hope you guys all found that uh, really helpful. Um, we've got a little offer on for uh, all those uh, people just starting out in the office environment or if you want to build your first wardrobe. Reply back to this email, get in touch, and all the little outfits that we talked about today. Um, we've got a bit of a style consulting going on here at the store, so first 10 people that get in touch uh, will offer you this package, and uh, we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Thanks, bye.